Good morning, my beautiful Libras. Welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be self-discovery. What are your cards? So we're going to start with Oracle. I had a big pile. Um, I drew from different decks. There's probably seven decks in total that have a resonance here beginning on Monday. We're going to look at the energy that's clear, that's here, and let's begin for you. So Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, you actually have the Sun with Leo Energy. And remember, these are just the oracle parts, so we're going to see how it transcends through the read. And we also have um, Mother Earth. This is like Gaia energy, deriving it from actually grounding yourself. I think this week, the key to making your energy settle is to have Gaia energy. Uh, go out and take a walk. If you can, enjoy a hike. Uh, on your free time, this is going to be excellent to ground your spirit and just be calm. Like most of the week is going to be sun energy. Uh, this could also reflect the environment, which means our weather will be good overall, universally. Um, and there's some good like alone time here that I see as well that some of you could be producing on your own. So with that, and that's very earthy, that's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, we also have a new moon in Leo coming up. We have the Amy Winehouse card. I brought out the celebrity deck this morning. Um, let's read it. It says, Amy Winehouse, learn to love your truant heart. Honeymoons should last a lifetime. Treat your scars as your best feature. So there could have been a recent Three of Swords. We will delve into the reading and see what are the purposeful cues for dealing with a current heartbreak if that's your situation. But I feel like here it's saying, Take care of yourself in the meantime. That's what you can control. So just surrender and let it flow uh, at the same token. When you let it flow, you release all of those toxins in your body and anything that makes you feel weak. So we have her as like a stronghold in the reading. Um, this does remind me of the strength card in Leo season. So we're just going to check out a little bit more for you. I hope you're having too, a wonderful morning. It says messages from spirit. Okay, so this was to me the most authentic card that popped out for you. I was shuffling very quickly, but I also saw the butterfly and I had to stop because yesterday was a lot of reflection on maybe your person. Today is more reflection on you. So we're going to read it. It says, begin by establishing an individual link with the spirit world. Once confirmation has been received from the sitter, which is you, Open up to receive a loving message. While I love yous and perfect angel numbers and valid messages are fine, take a moment and just hear the universe. Share your feelings. Uh, be open, forgive, or just have gratitude in this situation. This is truly a moment of your loved ones coming to spirit and collaborating. It says blending with spirit and linking with spirit are the cards. So if you have this deck, it would be wonderful to look at those because they're uh, in one message. It says, um, it also says here, I love this part. It says, although I love yous and angel numbers are fine, sit in the moment itself and grant yourself forgiveness if you need to. So we have messages from spirit. We have the four of swords as a tarot card. And I don't know if it's showing quite well. There's the four of swords. This is your energy. So you could have relaxed rejuvenated this weekend um, a lot of your systems maybe you are getting yourself up to par again maybe your energy systems just need to be refilled so um, I would technically say and I'm no doctor I would say take your vitamins um, take the best actually care of yourself this week that you possibly can offer your body I know that it says here to receive your messages in the moment, I would do so, but there's two advice cards that I drew for you at the very end. We have the Nine of Cups and we have the Frog Spirit. The Nine of Cups as a card means to take care of yourself. It's self-preservation. It's also the Nine Cups are yours in this card. It's also very common. It's emotion and it's wish fulfillment for the person, okay? Uh, there's no couples here. So you're just taking care of yourself in the moment. I love that the Nine of Cups showed up for you. The, the animal that you got was clear out the clutter. Um, many of you could be looking around at your stuff, your technical things, the material world, um, cleaning away. It's kind of like a spring cleaning in the middle of summer. And you have this frog here. Frogs could be something too that you are acclimatized to from your childhood. For me, it's very calming because they are a, a fortune type of animal. Also in the Chinese zodiac, they're good luck. So there could be prosperity here after we clear out the clutter. There might be some organization that needs to be had 
um, and some cleaning, like I was mentioning, some summer cleaning. So those are your oracles, the Four of Swords also with Libra energy. A lot of decks here with advice. Um, I do love that it says here, I love your scars, the way that they come. The actual quote is, treat your scars as your best feature. So um, the Amy Winehouse card too. Beautiful, her, her catalog of music could help out today for some of you watching tarot. So if you are um, thinking of making a new playlist or you want to compile a new playlist yourself, um, I think some of her songs will speak to your heart. I truly do. The Sun card, there could be an overall good outcome for the week ahead. We're going to check the reading with Tarot. And thank you for joining me this morning. This is just to get us started and revved up for the week ahead. Welcome back to the channel too. Messages for Libra, what do we got? Thank you. We have the Ten of Cups. So the Ten of Cups is wish fulfillment. Uh, we could be manifesting our Ten of Cups. And let me just, I'm going to fix the light. There's lots of technical problems today. <laughs> the Ten of Cups is wish fulfillment of which you derive the definition of. I think that here um, you're seeking your Ten of Cups. That's what I'm feeling so far. Let's get a little bit more in this read. Ace of Swords coming to a clarity about how to reach that. There might be, and I'm feeling, um, I feel a close friendship that feels like the Ten of Cups in your reading. I feel like somebody close to you can offer sage advice. They can be there when you need a shoulder to cry on. Also, this clarity card could mean that today you arrive to that understanding between you and another. So some clarity is coming to you, Libras. Let's wait for this uh, to balance out too during the week. We have the Chariot card. We have Cancer in Leo season, which is funny enough to see because we should be seeing Leo cards at this point. Uh, you should be seeing things like the sun. You should be seeing things like the six of wands. We have somebody approaching you as a chariot here. They might need to travel or you do. I think also this is your movement to just pick up the week. Um, this is an energy read. So let's see love, the knight of pentacles so far. That was a card for yesterday, the knight, slowest moving knight in the deck. It's my turtle card and the knight of wands. So we have some energy from one or two of you. In a love relationship, you could be dating somebody new and they're heading to you as a knight of wands with a lot of messaging. There's a slow person too here from the past and I think that you guys picked it up as well. There's a slower energy connected to you. What else are the love energies? The three of swords. Oh, I felt that coming into the room today. The empress, okay. That feels like someone's remembering you. The Three of Swords and the Empress card, Taurus and Libra, and the Eight of Cups. So the Eight of Cups is walking away. And sometimes it's for our higher vibration. Sometimes it's just to let go, okay? But when you walk away, what do you usually walk into? It's usually a new circumstance which you know nothing about. Um, the positive shift here is that if you walk towards it, there might be an Ace of Wands. There's a happier side to this story. The Libra has the strength to walk to the other side of this. I believe a lot of you look good right now too in the Empress card. You could be stressing that your new journey is the, um, is the focus. It's the primary focus of today. It's the primary focus of the entire week. I feel like there's a lot of glorious surprises there. I feel like if you turn the corner um, and you actually do this walking away, it also could be painful. So we have to acknowledge that the Eight of Cups is part of the process. The High Priest is upright at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so we have to talk about a couple of things. The High Priestess is Pisces. You could be seeing some Pisces cards like the Hanged Man or, and or the High Priestess. She's here today to say that you've always followed your heart on something. Um, and you've always been right in some sense. We also have the Wheel of Fortune, all fixed sign energies. This is a high priestess who's following her gut. A lot of you are high vibrational people. What happens here is that we could lose ourselves in um, second guessing a situation. The advice here is to stick to your guns. Something is about to turn with that wheel. It could be influenced by this three of swords in the reading too. That's what I see. Uh, but the empress is holding steadfast. There's something, something opening up over here. There's something opening up on the other side. What is this opening up to that's coming up? What is this new journey that Libra's on? Ace of Cups, okay. There could be a new person that comes into your life as a new beginning here. 
If you don't know them, that's okay. What happens with the Ace of Cups is we're in the spirit of beginning a new love journey and we're open to it. So as far as your high vibrational, as far as you're happy and accepting of it, I think that uh, this is going to come in surprising, maybe at a time you least expect it to. You could be going through something at that time. Two of Pentacles. We have balance. This is exactly what goes on with Libras. We try to balance ourselves each and every time, each and every week. It's hard to keep the faith, especially if you're single and you've been waiting for a very long time. I feel like the best thing to do is keep yourself busy with things that do attract your attention, that do need your time. Two of Pentacles, a nearby Ace of Cups in the near future. What's this um, Ace of Cups? The Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so it's future stuff. It's a relationship that feels like the Ten of Pentacles. And remember, this relationship too can be positive. So keep your mind open for this person. This Three of Swords taught you something about being in receiving mode with the Ten of Pentacles. Okay? Um, yeah, definitely. For the Empress, what are her advices? The Three of Cups to socialize. Exercise your voice wherever you can if you notice the card is in blue. So this is the throat chakra. It's inviting you to talk, tell your story, tell your truths. Um, there's other like-minded people. As you walk away, there's other like-minded people meeting you on the other side. There's also a lot of reunions waiting for you if you're willing to accept it. I also think this walking away is going to happen um, for your betterment. This walking away probably already happened this past weekend, so many of you could be exercising to just keep walking, okay, to toward that new path, whatever it is. The sun is at the bottom of the deck. So at the beginning, your oracle card was the sun. This was the beginning card. You also have two Leo energies here. I find that happiness is on the other side of this window, okay? Again, grounding is going to be important with this Gaia energy. That's why I pulled this beginning stack for you guys. We're going to go into a bonus to the Six of Wands and to the Justice card. Definitely karma is reworking itself in the environment. If you had a relationship here that was Three of Swordsy, because that's the card we're seeing, there's something on the other side of this rainbow with the sun. We will go into an extricated bonus. We're going to stretch the reading. So we will see what's on this other side. It looks like it's very successful in that middle card. We have Leo showing up with the six of wands. So I'll be back. We're just going to reload the camera. I hope you're having a beautiful day thus far. And next up is going to be a love read.